Check this out. It's been how long since I actually had one of these things? Well, I'd have to go back quite a bit. I think it's been about two or three years since my old 1988 Micronta multimeter died. And uh, that actually, people really didn't like me for just pitching that thing, but there, there was more to that whole situation than uh, just uh, corroded battery contacts. The corrosion had made its way to the PCB and started dissolving traces, which would have required bridging of the bad spots. And at the time, I didn't really have any good way of doing that. That would have resulted in it being able to still fit in the case. I mean, I could have soldered wires to it, no problem, but then I don't think it would fit back into the case. And I really don't like it when things don't fit back in their cases properly. It just triggers my OCD really badly. So, sorry guys, that one had to go. But, two years later, we now have another one. And this is probably the cheapest one that you could buy. Or one of the cheapest ones that you can buy. A commercial electric. Measures AC and DC voltage. Doesn't do AC current. Will do resistance. I think it's just DC resistance though. If you take a look on the back here, you can see it does 600 volt DC, 600 volt AC, 10 amps DC current, no AC current, does have an LCD display, does not have an audible continuity thingy, and can go up to 2 mega ohms resistance. Display hold, diode test, has all that stuff, and the rest of it, well, no. Comes with the multimeter, the test leads, a 9 volt PP3 battery, don't know what that means, and a user's manual. So let's open this thing up. So that actually worked out pretty well. So we've got the test leads right there. Thank God they're not zip tied together. Got the user's manual, and I guess the battery is inside it. Actually, that doesn't feel half bad. For being cheap modern electronic. Come on. Oh, yeah, and it's also got a stand on the back of it. The LCD display, all nice and shiny. It'll be shiny for a whole of three seconds. Then fingerprints will get on it. And I can turn it on. to all kinds of different things. I'm never sure which one this, you know, you're supposed to plug it into. Like, I think that's the middle terminal right there. I guess reading the owner's manual would tell me. So I'm gonna put it into 20, the 20 volt range. Prop up the stand so you can see it. I'm gonna go get a battery actually so we can do some tests here. Here's just a standard 6 volt lantern battery. This is the only test that I'm really going to do. Because I'm sure that you all know how a multimeter works. Uh, voltage DC. It's a 6 volt battery, so it should measure... Hmm. Oh. I don't get anything out of it. I don't think I'm doing something right here. Alright, I figured it out. This button was pushed. Which is what the H actually means. So, we should now be able to measure the battery voltage. 
five and a half volts. <coughs> so that's pretty good. Okay. So there you pretty much have it. That's just about it. Uh, there's nothing really else that I have to show you. It's a multimeter. You've seen them before. Um, so, there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. That was a quick video. This is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.